Hi, my name is Arnold Custodio and welcome to another InMotion Hosting WordPress video tutorial. One of the basic requests that is often asked is, how do I add an image to my post or page? Adding images has become a very simple task with the recent WordPress releases. It's just a simple matter of drag and drop. Today, we will focus on how to add images and edit the image within the WordPress editor. Before you can add any images to your page or post, you first need to log in to your WordPress administrator dashboard. So here I'm logged into the dashboard. Next, you want to decide if you're going to add the media, which is going to be your, your images, to the WordPress library first, or when you're making the actual page or post. You can do it in the beginning here by simply clicking media, and then library and add new. So this brings you straight to the Upload New Media screen, and you can select your files and upload them from here. Once you've selected a file that you want to upload, you would click on it, and you would click on Open, and then it will upload the file immediately for you. Now you can do multiple files, or you can do a single file. I'll show you so several files at once. And you can see that the files have been added immediately to the WordPress media library. So let's go ahead and add an image to a post. I'm going to click on the posts section. I'm going to look at all my posts. I'm going to edit an existing post. And here I'm going to go ahead and add an image. Now the easiest way to do that is to actually click on add media. and then select the media I want to, to add. So in this case, we'll go ahead and select this baby here. After you've selected the image that you want to add, go ahead and click on Insert into Post, and you'll see it within your post. Next, I'm going to show you how to add an image using a drag and drop operation. Now this is using a Mac desktop, but this is very similar to using a Windows desktop as well. All I'm doing is taking a file that's open in a folder and I'm going to drag it into the WordPress site. So when I do this, I've selected where I want the image to go. I'm going to put the cursor right in the area where I want the image to go in the post. Then I'm going to go to my image in the folder I'm going to click on it, and then I'm just going to simply drag it to the post. Now when I drag it, you can see the screen light up, and it says Drop Files to Upload. I'm just going to drop it here. It immediately opens up the Media Library window, which says Insert Media here, and it checks off the image which I just dragged in. Now if there's a duplicate of the image already there, it will automatically rename that image. So in this case, you can see that I had the image down here already, and it was called baby-1.jpg it automatically renamed it to baby-11.jbg. And when you've finished selecting the image that you want to add, and it's already selected for you, then at the bottom of your page, click on Insert Post. And the image will be added for you. Once you've added your image, make sure to click on Update in order to save the changes to your post. So next, we're going to look at the options that you have to edit the image within the WordPress editor in the administrator dashboard. So here I have the image which I placed in my post earlier. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And then you can immediately see that you have some options here for that image. The options that you see above the image here are alignment options. So you can align left, align center, align to the right, or no alignment whatsoever. This allows you to align it with the existing text that appears within your post. If you want to edit beyond that, you would click on the Edit button, which is an icon that looks like a pencil. So I'm going to click on Edit. And then opens up the image details. Here you can add a caption. The alternative text for the, the image that you're using. And then you can also do the alignments here again, left, center, right, and none. And you can change the size of the image. Right now it's set to medium. 
228 by 300 pixels. There's also options here to link to the file. And there are some advanced options here, which if you click on advanced options, you'll see the image title attribute, image CSS class, the link rel, and also the link CSS class. If you need to do more than that, on the right hand side, you can see that there's an option here to replace the image. You can also click on edit original. If you click on edit original, you'll see the edit image options that are available within the WordPress media library. Once you finish making your changes to the image, you would click on update in the bottom right hand corner. And then once you finish that and you finish making any changes to your post, you would click on update on the post in order to update and save all of your changes. Thanks again for watching this InMotion hosting WordPress video tutorial. If you like the video, make sure to give us a thumbs up below. Also subscribe to our channel. Please leave a comment so that we would know what kind of video you'd like to see for our future tutorials. Thanks again for watching and have a great day. Do you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? Something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.